Um, but anyway, uh, yes, so, no, no only Dell fans, I'm sorry to say. Oh, dang. No, in. no delved in. I did understand your comment about, um, that uh, it, it shouldn't have been like TikTok but Delve or, <laughs> or, or Instagram but Delve. Um, but the thing is, I thought it was, f like, I could have come up with names for that, but I thought it was funnier if it sounded like I had not put any thought into it whatsoever <laughs> and just called it but Delve. Everything but Delve. Yeah, basically, it's this, but Delve. <laughs> I just thought it was funnier if it sounded like no, no one had really put any time or attention into. No one did put any time or attention. <laughs> no, because why would we? Oh yeah, like the thing I was talking about with the with the Instagram. It's like it's not like we curate this content. <laughs> that would take time and effort. Um, but neither anyway. of which we have. Neither yeah. neither of which we currently have. No, no. Um, so anyway, yeah, for everyone who joined us for that, uh, thank you. I, that was so much fun, uh, to not do. I'm very glad that we did not make any of those, uh, yeah. the social media network that, that exists. Um, also, in more recent than that news, I did try to stream Got Daikatana only to have my internet hate me. So Yeah, weren't you at like ten like kilobytes a second or something? Oh, I was at Jeez, ten that's... point yeah, point one megabits. And that's slow. That is very slow. And Were you using a dial up? No. No, I have like a four G network up here. I I have like my provider is supposed to be able to deliver four hundred MBP. To, to the house. For, and for starters, 4G is a wireless uh, phone service. So well, it's not 4G. I am sorry. It's, <laughs> it's okay. So it's not 4G. Well, it's I 5G I, and it gives you COVID. Okay. <laughs> first of all, sorry, my phone gets 4G. Right. No, he's not. He's not right. He's he's don't don't don't. Don't spread that around, Alex, like 5G does. Anyway, let's just... Let's just, let's just um, no, I'm sorry. I have 4K on... 4, 4G on my phone, but my wireless service is, is, is not that. But I am supposed to have high-speed internet. It is cable-based, and um, it, it's supposed to be up to 400 megabits per second. Um... So, and usually, usually when stuff is going right, like now, my upload and download is like 20 something megabits, which, which is more than enough for what you need to do. Um, but for some reason, yesterday, despite my best efforts, did not want to cooperate. So, uh, I improvised and I just played some offline and recorded it. And then I cut together a video. For our website, there you go. Um, so you get to see 15 minutes basically of me trying to play through the marsh level of that game, and um, yeah, I understand why it gets its reputation. <laughs> was it tough? Um, it was just frustrating. <laughs> it, it's just Daikatana is well known for being one of like the worst games of all time, and. And and it was like it was John Romero. He was he was riding high off of like his Doom fame. He he and John Carmack like went in separate directions, and he wanted to create like his magnum opus, and that was supposed to be Die Katana. And then people played it, and we're going, oh yeah, this this isn't very good. And um, like the the funny thing for me was that there's like a ten minute exposition dump of a cutscene at the very beginning. Oh, it's just it's just like the characters just explain to you everything that's happening and everything you need to do in a non-interactive cutscene. And then you get dropped in the first level <laughs> after Ooh. after. Yeah, immediately I was like, 
what 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 I, I kept thinking to myself like well that's a great way to do storytelling because now I never have to figure out what's happening in the story ever again like the like through don't the, even need to play anymore you don't even need to play anymore all the storyline is done specifically in the cutscenes between levels in the middle of it it doesn't matter at all you're just playing <laughs> it's um it it's the f- the weird thing for me was okay i'm running a modern computer this this is like a brand new computer we're talking about a game that's 20 years old Ooh, okay yes. it's it, it it came out in 2000 okay it doesn't i can't even play it full screen they don't have the capability to do that i have to play it in a window on like half of my screen why are there load screens why? <laughs> there are load screens because this game that's artifacting from the time when load screens were a thing. Yeah, but me, but I mean, Alex, why are there load screens when I move from one place in the level to another place in the level? Like it's literally like I go down this tunnel from one place to another, and all of a sudden there's a load screen. But I'm not talking about, like, a load screen where they're like, okay, well, we have to do the load screens and it's in and out. It's load screens where it starts showing, bup, 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 okay, you're in now. The load screens still take, like, 10 seconds or 15 seconds when you're loading between areas. Jeez. Yeah. And the really annoying thing for me was, you go from one area to another area... And if the enemy, uh, you know, the, the things that are trying to kill you are, like, right on you, you die instantly, and then it loads you back from that one point. Oops. So you can die again, <laughs> over and over again. Because that's, yeah, that's also... also yeah, where they, they make you say... And so I thought to myself, well, I'll just manual save. But... Huh... In order to manual save in Daikatana, you need to discover save gems in the level that you can use to create a save file. That's... Okay. Yeah. No. no. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, not a fan. Not a fan. No. I, I did. The, like, there were so many times in the in the game I was kind of like going, why did they make these decisions? <laughs> I just, I got through the first level and I thought to myself, well, I've played it. <laughs> you did it. You I played did, the game. I did it. I looked on the, the GOG because I, I got it on GOG. And they show like what the average play time for the game is. And, and. The, the average play time for people who get it is like an hour and 30 minutes. <laughs> so they play longer than you did. They play slightly longer than I did. Because I'm sitting there on the load screen thinking to myself, yeah, that seems like it's an over-exaggeration. <laughs> I, I made it for like uh, close to an hour. Uh, I think it took me to get through the marsh because I died so many times. <laughs> Uh, most of the time, for reasons I didn't even understand, there were there were plenty of times where you just like, oh, here's a barricade that you're supposed to go through. But good news, you got the mega shield. Oh well, if I have a mega shield, maybe I can go through. No, I I die instantly when I hit the energy field. Okay, that why wow. why did I get a me- why, why did you just drop a mega shield in front of the door? You're never this supposed to go through that door. Cool. You're, by the way, you're never supposed to go through the door at all. <laughs> it's, that's, apparently, you can't go through the door, as far as I can tell. I Oof. tried many times. It, it's, um, it's fascinating. It is a game that came out from Ion Storm the same year Deus Ex did. That's a disparity. You have, you have, from the same company, you have one game that is known as one of the best ever made and one that is known as one of the worst games ever created. And Deus yeah. Ex. Deus Ex. Yes, if you are not familiar, I actually did play it on stream for a bit. But it's one of my favorite games. One it of my favorite so games. Dated. <laughs> it, it, yeah, no, I, I granted, like even with the mods that they put onto it, which do help out quite a bit, 
it is going to be pretty dated. However, if you want something more modern, not too long ago, they did make the, uh, uh, what is it? Mankind Divided and Human Revolution. And, and those are actually prequels in the series, but they are modern games. So, uh, but I, I really love the series, and it's sort of like an action RPG um, that, uh, that has you playing an augmented agent with a lot of really interesting abilities and some wild, wild convoluted plot lines involving every shadow organization known to mankind <laughs> and it's Ooh. it uh, oh yeah in the first game the deus ex is amazing i've played it so many times that i still cannot tell you what the storyline is <laughs> and uh, I, like i love the game i have no idea what's going on i have no well let me just 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 real briefly in that game you discover that you're like you're a nano augmented agent there's there's uh, a, an organization that you're working for, but actually they're another organization, uh, and that you're trying to stop like this domestic terrorist organization, but actually they might be working for somebody else. And somewhere in all of this, Silhouette, the Knights Templar, the Illuminati, um, and and aliens from outer space come into play. Somewhere along the line in that story, there, there, there are genetically engineered creatures that are coming after you. There are secret underground labs. There's a unified uh, artificial intelligence that wants to merge with you. And, and I haven't even scratched the surface of what's going on, basically. That's the game. That's like, that's like the game. <laughs> so that's why I can never figure it out, no matter how many times I play it. <laughs> There's so many working pieces. <laughs> one, one second you think that you're like uh, doing some light policing work as, <laughs> as part of like UNATCO, and the next minute you're like in underground tunnels in the French Resistance, dealing with giant mech dudes. It's wild, man. It's wild. But that's one of the best games of all time. Says Nathan. Says everyone. Says everyone, Alex. Um, I didn't know everyone liked twenty-five-year-old games. It's twenty years old, and it's there are great games from twenty years ago, though. Sure, Halo, Half-Life. Well, <laughs> Halo, Halo wasn't quite twenty years ago. Half-Life. How long was Half-Life ago? Half-Life was ninety-eight. Ninety-eight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ninety-eight. Halo was 2002, I want to say. 2001, 2002. That's about 20 years ago, Nathan. Yeah, I guess it would be about 20 years ago. People um, people like the Fallout. The original Fallouts. People like da uh, Baldur's Gate. People really Allegedly. love Baldur's Gate. Allegedly. <laughs> people like these things. They're old games. What, it's fine. So what's tonight's show about? <laughs> what is Nathan's tonight's show? Nostalgia Journey. Nathan's Nathan's uh, update on old things. Newsflash: old things. Tonight's show. <laughs> tonight's show. We were actually going to talk about like actual stuff that's going on, and I guess state of the show things. Um, do you want to do that, Alex? <laughs> Wait, do what now? Do. <laughs> do 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 you want to actually do? like, actual announcement stuff. Uh, I want to plot a route to this place first. I'm you want to check out a nebula. Okay. Alex wants to check out a nebula. I got this. All right. <clears throat> okay. All right, I plotted my course. Pretty Terrific. Good. I just want to do that real quick. Okay, fair enough. You've plotted your course. We can, are, we, are we doing April Fool's announcements? Is that what we're doing? No, I was actually... I, I wasn't thinking we would do April Fool's announcements. I thought we would actually tell... Our fan, James, <laughs> James, <Our> wonderful James, <laughs> that we would actually make like a, like an announcement. Announcement. Although we'll have to do more in the future. But announcing only James. Announcing only James. I'm sure he's very happy about that. No, I'm not. <laughs> okay, fair <laughs> enough. Sorry that we I mentioned that uh, for for our fan and for the the fan that will listen later. Um. <laughs> Uh, Salt. yeah, 
salt, yes, yeah, salt, salt and sea goat are gonna love this. Um, but do you actually want to uh, just kind of explain to them what our our current plan or plot is? We have a plot. I don't know. Do we? I like to think we do. I don't think we're allowed to have plots. Maybe Sorry. plots of land. Okay, we'll have plots of land. Okay. <clears throat> um. So. Mm. How do we put this? I don't know how we put this. We're canceled. We are. <laughs> <laughs> And we're doing the canceling ourselves. <laughs> we're self-canceling. <laughs> there's there's a terrible way to put it, actually. <laughs> um, uh, how better to put that? Um, we're fired. We're fired. Yeah. Yes, James. We we we. F I fired Alex. Alex fired me. We are now fired. I don't know. I don't know what that really ends up being. <laughs> I mean, no more delve. So, okay, we should probably actually explain this, right, Alex? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. We this... should ex if you're gonna say we cancel and cancel and are fired, you gotta explain it. Yeah. Okay. So let's explain this. Otherwise, um, we're gonna leave James confused and angry. Tonight. We don't. We don't want to leave James confused or angry. Okay. So, so James, this, this is, this is. Not necessarily bad news, but it is changing news. Um, it's interesting news. It, it is actually interesting news. So, uh, earlier in the year, I guess we can at least talk about it. Like, earlier in the year, we started kind of mulling over just planning and all of that good stuff. And um, what we decided on is that Delve, at least Delve as a show is actually going to be ending in roughly a month, maybe a little bit more. And probably next month's live episode will be the last Delve Live. Now, oh. But now, before, before you get upset, <laughs> um, understand that that's actually because we, we want to do something new. Okay. Uh, so it's, we want to do something different. We want to do something well, different. Not not entirely different. Just something not Dell. Something that's not Dell. Okay. Uh, I I kind of feel like what happened. Al Alex might have some uh, input on this too. Is but I, at least from my perspective, is after like doing this for five years, we we got a lot of experience, and we also got a lot of. Ideas about content that we might actually want to create that doesn't really fall into the the parameters of what we were doing with Delve specifically, and right. we've been doing a lot of stuff that doesn't just happen to do with, like game design mechanics, like especially True. on Nathan's end with all the Citanium Mind stuff and all this video game content. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, yeah. So part of it is just we want to expand like what we do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And right. We kind of felt that the label of Delve, it, it's it's kind of like expected to be the thing that it's been, I guess. A little that bit. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. It um it also didn't help as Alex was quick to point out to me that there's actually a lot of other podcasts called Delve. <laughs> yeah, there's several that are called Delve. Yeah, there, there 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 are a lot, and and some of them are pretty prominent. They at least have Delve in the name. Like there's Dungeon Delve, and and um, uh, there's uh, there's some that are uh, spiritual ones. The Delve, the Delve and spiritual. There was yeah, there was. Spirit. There, there, there was, and I think I even talked about it on the show. It wasn't, it was very short lived, but there was literally another tabletop podcast called Delve. <laughs> it was just straight or Delve up Cast, even. Delve Cast, which I think um, the Trollish Delver had a podcast for a little while, and that was that was uh, Delve Cast. So uh, I think so, yeah. I, I think so. No offense to the Trollish Delver. You, I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm just saying there was a podcast. <laughs> and it, and I believe he was he was behind it, and I didn't think it was anything malicious, but it, it did happen to be called Delfcast. The, right. The point is that we realized that technically our stream, even like like just for our RS 
S feed is actually still under Mad Adventurer Society since it we is. still have that artifact from the past. And so it might be time to actually try to break out and do something uniquely ours that isn't that, that doesn't come with any of that previous stuff that we can actually we're start to get rid fresh. Of our baggage. We're getting rid of some of the baggage so that we can start fresh and actually launch the way we might want to and really promote something that is more unique and interesting. So so so, um, so uh, we we are we are working on actually putting together something really brand new. And a Alex, do you want to tell them what that is? We, we can tell James whatever we want. We can tell, we can tell our friendly listeners whatever they want to know. Okay, but do you want to make the announcement of what the new site and podcast is going to be called? We can we can do that. Okay. So. Uh, on top of the many things that we've been trying to figure out over the last couple months, it was rebranding. Um, and Ray, actually, um, my girlfriend Ray, also known as Crave, or whatever her name is, is on the server. Mm. Um, I was kicking around ideas with her, and I was jokingly saying, how about Total Pebble Knockdown? <gasps> <laughs> And she's like, no, I love that. It's it's just weird and unique. And no one else is going to be named that. No. no. So we're going to be launching under the title of Total Pebble Knockdown. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been working on a new website yeah. uh, for that, which is also Total Pebble Knockdown. And uh, something we also haven't mentioned, which I guess I can announce, is that Ray's actually joined our team mm -hmm. for the site and everything because she's a graphic designer uh so she's making all the wonderful art assets and graphics and all the things that are nice and beautiful uh mm -hmm. for the site so we're gonna have it look really nice <laughs> yeah yeah absolutely um, yeah and the logo is gonna be a lot nicer and the album art is gonna be nicer i mean the album art was okay because david somerville made that but right right it's but just gonna be a lot more uh unique to us i think i think so i think so um yeah we might we might in the uh upcoming days maybe we might share some stuff um but uh, i mean I, I can share some stuff right now uh, if yeah you if you want to i i didn't want to presume that's all <laughs> I'll, I'll, but, I'll, mm, which not mock up should i share oh uh, <laughs> what 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 about like what we're thinking about for like the main logo or um, or, or one of the interpretations of the main logo. Like right? this one, maybe? What do you think, Ray? Ray thinks I should share this one. Okay. Yes, no? Up to you. Which one? The black background? Why would you want the black background? I don't know. I, d I don't know if it's even one I've seen. I probably I have, but... I distracted her. She died. This oh. one? Or this one? <laughs> Okay, hold on one sec. I'm gonna I'm gonna crop this image. Okay, go crop. Go go ahead and crop, so that we can we can show the folks on the on the the streamies what the streamies. some of our the streamies. We're gonna get nominated for some streamies. <laughs> um, so so desktop really quick. Save it there. Yeah. And this is this is obviously stuff that we'll be able to do like maybe proper promotion for leading up to the actual episode drops and do some prep work for as we uh, as as we approach. Uh, um, all right, so this here is uh, not the final draft. Mm. It is the final draft. No, she shook her head no. Uh, but this is something Ray's been kicking around. Oh yeah, uh, yeah yeah yeah. So yeah. Anything that we don't use as an official uh, logo, though, we can turn into an NFT and make a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can make them NFTs. Yeah, let's make them NFTs. <laughs> make them um, I really like that. What's yeah. that, James? I really like that. That's James really nice. Uh, mm -hmm. It's almost like we had a professional graphic designer make it. <laughs> yes. The um. <laughs> I wonder who that could be. I don't. Do. You did a good job, Ray. 
Yeah, there you go. Right. <laughs> yes, Great. yes, absolutely. Um, and that the the, the twenty sided die with with the, like the rock slide on it that kind of comes into play in some different iterations that that we've been kicking around too. But that's kind of the general uh, idea of what we wanted to brand. Uh, yeah, it it was a different design at first, similar though, and her and I both came up with that. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really fun working with her turning ideas into actual things like because i can't art <laughs> yeah so no i cannot art. process yeah exactly um, so we've had a couple different variations but i think the yellow one is going to be the main one mm -hmm. but we might make the icon itself in different colors as like emojis yeah because um, we're going to also another thing i've been working on is a discord server yes so <gasps> we'll still keep this delvecast one uh, for all the OG people that are here, uh, if you just want to hang out, uh, but oh, we're yeah. gonna have another, uh, I think, more organized uh, Delvecast server, or no, sorry, the, TPK the, server. the TPK server, <laughs> um, that will one, it will actually pull from what is going to end up being also a new YouTube channel for us uh, that <gasps> that's going to be specific, because. Um, you know that was a, that was another thing. My the, the YouTube channel that we have for Delve is sort of all over the map. You know, you'll have like three hour long streams, and then you'll have like short, you know, pieces pieces inside of that. It's just it, it's a lot of content all over the map. But but what we're actually planning on doing is uh, building the episodes of like TPK into segments that will also have video components, and then we'll be able to have those individual segments up as YouTube videos as well. Oh, that's that's very smart. We th we thought so. Um, so I, I, when I told Nathan that was the idea, he was like, "Oh, I like that." <laughs> yeah, because that also so, that also makes it really like nice bite sized media for you know video presentations as well. Um, so the rollout plan for that is that we'll have a new YouTube channel. The Delvecast one was going to be swapped over to be Nathan's for Citanium Mine, right? Or whatever gaming content he wants to do there, mm -hmm. all of that will be posted on the new website. Why are you dying? Again, always. <laughs> you got shot with an arrow in chest. You're supposed to take the arrows in the. You're bad at this game, aren't you? Okay. <laughs> She's not used to playing Assassin's Creed. It's fine. Um, no. <laughs> so we're right. gonna we're gonna do a Monday and a Friday episode of the podcast, I believe. Oh, twice a week. Yeah. Dang. So, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a Monday show that is like the segments. So it'll be just a long, uh, what, half hour to an hour long show. Mm. And we'll take the segments from that show and break it down into, uh, like, segments for YouTube. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, so it'll be like 10, 15 smaller, just each one will be its own video because that's how YouTube likes content. Right, um, right, right. So we'll have the podcast for people who want to listen to the audio. And we'll have the videos for people who want to watch the videos and have smaller, just self-contained sections. And then the Friday show is going to be, I think, we were kicking around the idea of having different content Fridays as a standalone show. Like, the same thing, but, like, we've got a couple different concepts of shows we can do mm -hmm. uh, where either I can do a solo show with who somebody else doing something that I want to do, which I'm... Okay, should I mention that one? Uh... I probably don't even know about that, or I forgot. Go ahead. That the segment that that one's going to be called is uh, Sneak Geek. Ah, uh, yes. Which essentially the idea behind it is I want to get like an interview show where we talk to people who maybe aren't necessarily in the gaming scene, or just maybe are, but about other nerdy hobbies they have. So like, what's something you don't really talk about as much? What's like, what are you super nerd out about? You know, because mm -hmm. it's interesting. So, we could have people that are like not anywhere near the gaming scene that you know about, but maybe they secretly love playing World of Warcraft. Mm -hmm. or, or maybe you've got someone who normally you see as a gamer and maybe they like scuba diving as a hobby. That would be cool. Yeah, yeah. it's just something really interesting because then we're talking to people about just geeky things, right. Right, 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 and so, uh, so yeah, the actual structure we're still trying to work out 
some of the kinks about how that will be done. But the, the idea is generally that we'll be able to have content that at least in the video form will be up basically five days a week. Uh, you know, that, that will be, you know, at least like five segments, um, of, of content once it's all done, uh, said and done. And so, and, and that, that will also kind of be useful because we'll be able to play around with a lot of different concepts that we've been doing. And, um, each episode will have multiple parts to it. So we'll be handling in more bite-sized pieces, uh, more, you know, a, a range of different kinds of subject matter. Uh, so that's, uh, that, that's the hope at least is what we're going to be trying to do. Um, it will be a little yeah. bit more focused on the individual parts and we'll do some of the, the weirder stuff too. Uh, <laughs> the rebrand is basically that we're going to just kind of go out from just like video games or sorry, or just tabletop, tabletop like yeah. mechanics as what are, you know, what it says we do. Right. And just kind of be like, oh yeah, no, it's like tabletop and video games, but kind of like whatever we want it to be. Right. Right. Um, and I've been I've been just kind of like kicking around at least what I what I kind of thought those segments might be and and I'm I'm figuring that one of those probably the one that's in the middle will probably be more similar to what you're used to with Delve, it, it, like like a, a mechanics based question or a you know an actual design based thing that we'll touch on, uh, but the other stuff would be feature segments so, some things similar to like what Alex was talking about one for like current events and then also some you know more uh stuff like um like uh, tales from the spam folder stuff like that uh so, but just kind of like a, a range of different kinds of combat that, uh, combat a range of different kinds of content range of different kinds of combat <laughs> yeah exactly there's a lot of different kinds of combat it's sort of like in yakuza where you mix up the different uh, styles that you're doing there's one segment is rush and one segment is beast and one is the brawler <laughs> and then then we finish with the dragon <laughs> that's what happens in the thing uh, so, so the the structure thing is is what we're still working out. This next month, we'll we'll probably be focusing more on trying to start burning some episodes and doing some test runs with different stuff, um, and uh, and hopefully starting to promote the actual new stuff. Now that we've actually said it, being able to go out and start talking about the actual sites and promoting it and starting to get some buzz around it before we launch. So, that's the. That's what we're hoping to accomplish in the next month or so. We still have um, uh, probably a good, I don't even know, probably a good four or five episodes of Delve itself that we have to do. Um, and um, I've, already, I've already said, like, regardless of what number we end up on, I think the last one, I'm just calling episode 300. <laughs> It's just, this is going to be called episode 300 at this point. We've probably done that, but, but you'll yep. know, you'll know when you see, uh, Delve 300, that's the last episode <laughs> of the show. Um, and, uh, yeah, it, it, it's the kind of thing though, that at least for, for me, and I think Alex would agree, it's just gotten us very excited and energized in a way that we haven't been in a very long time. I know definitely me. I've been working on a website and Discord and made a new YouTube, made a new email, made a bunch oh, yeah. of stuff. I keep fucking Ray to work on the icons and stuff, even though she's got other stuff and work to do. Yeah, there's all that work that we still have to do. <laughs> then I've been moving too, uh, so <laughs> I've just been I've been busy in general. Yeah, yeah. I have to start working on some parts of the website too, and yeah, um, yeah, Nathan. Hey, hey, Nathan, work on the website. <laughs> I got to work on uh, some stuff for actual Citania Mine and all of that. I, I've had to set up a, a whole anchor feed for Citania oh, Mine. Oh, yes, that's yep. the other thing. We're moving all of our uh, feed stuff over onto Anchor FM, which is uh, Spotify, I think. Uh, it's part of oh, Spotify, uh, yeah. but it will go on to other uh, networks as well. It, 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 it puts it out to a bunch of different feeds and um, will allow for a release schedule on our terms, pretty much. We can pretty much just upload whenever we want. 
Um, we're also building the website on uh, Squarespace, which is very nice. It's a very nice layout. Gives us a lot of uh, ability to customize what it looks like. So, yeah, we're, we're really trying to start basically from scratch and build everything out from there. So, uh, you know, I guess, I, I guess what we're saying is that, uh, you know, it's, it's, we, we basically, we closed a door and then we opened every single window in the house and, <laughs> and we're desperately climbing in and out of them all over the place. I think no, that's I mean, the best no. analogy I have. I don't think that's a good analogy. Um, no. Huh. I think James was saying something, but I think it broke up on us too. It it did, slightly. I think I think James is so uh so uh, ex what excited about the whole thing that his his mic just dropped off the face of the planet. His. <laughs> He ha he's he's uh, unable to speak now. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, can you hear me? Oh, can I can hear you. I can hear I'm you. I'm walking now. back. I'm walking across uh, campus again, and so my uh, Wi-Fi is terrible. You cut out a little bit, but I think I got the idea of what's going on, and it sounds really cool. Yeah. I'm really excited. Yeah, well, we hope it is. Um, Everything's getting rebranded. <laughs> Everything's getting rebranded, and... And uh, placed into, I, I think, some more easily digestible pieces as well. That also just kind of allows us to take a lot of the stuff that we've tried to do over the years and, and put them into a form where you can get all of it in, like, one centralized place that makes sense. And so, yeah, we'll, we'll end up with a new YouTube channel. We'll, we'll probably be doing uh, live episodes, but they'll be over on, we're, we're thinking of actually doing those on YouTube live, uh, and, um, and I'll keep doing streaming on Twitch. Yeah. We're thinking about doing that because we're not sure how YouTube live is, but we don't know. It might, it might be fun. We're kicking stuff around. <laughs> we're kicking, we're kicking ideas around about where we're going to do, we'll still do live shows. Um, but it just won't be a delve live, so to speak. It will be, um, Oh, we should probably find a, a fun thing to call Total Pebble Knockdown Live that isn't just Total Pebble Knockdown Live. Um, Total Pebble Live Down. Yeah. I'm going with that. It's a live avalanche. It's a live avalanche. Oh, yeah. That's a good That's a good thing. You can just say we're getting rolling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. If anyone asks and they don't want to hear the entire story and the, the, the about how it's called that, we'll just say because we roll. And that's the that's the story. Total Pebble Knockdown. Why? Because we're always on a roll. Just like dice. False. Yeah. False. Yeah. And not false. Not false. Um. And so, yeah, we'll have some unique content on the site, uh, some of the stuff that we're already doing, and some new content, and, and hopefully get some other people in there. Um, we're we're going to see how it goes, but we're hoping to maybe have some uh, introduction, sort of like how Mad Adventures introduced us and some other shows into the landscape. I'd like to eventually, hopefully, do that with uh, with some other projects as well. But uh, first things first, and that's uh, getting up and running and, and starting the show. So over the next month or two, we're probably going to be doing a lot of promotion and starting to get that up and running, um, which we're already pretty well in process of. Uh, and then uh, sometime in May we'll be able to uh, do our last episodes of Delve and then start in on, on TPK. And so next month will probably be the last live episode that we do for Delve specifically. Uh, I think right now that's what our timetable is looking like. Um, so there is that. That's, that's, that's all the actual big announcements. And I know that there are some people that would be like, well, that was a great April Fool's joke. <laughs> I was just thinking that it's gonna be like, wow, you guys went really elaborate on the April Fools. Wasn't that an elaborate April Fools joke? It's and we're we're 
Uh, so, some of some of the details about what we're doing may not end up exactly being what happened, but 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 we this is this is actually a thing. We are doing this. <laughs> this is not a joke. This is I mean, not a joke. If I really wanted to, I could be like, here, here's a public website. Yeah, but it's not ready yet. It's not ready yet. It's not ready yet. Um, we uh we we could probably start uh. In, in the coming weeks or so, once we get the, like, Discord server up, we'll tell people about that more. And um, I think we'll have new social media accounts, too, for everything as well. Uh, maybe? We might just rebrand the Dell to a TPK Twitter. Oh, yeah, we might do that. We might be able to rebrand that, because it's not like we'll necessarily need it. If there's anything that we can rebrand, Patreon will will end up rebranding for the for the patrons that we have or anyone that might want to come on and um, our our structure and everything. Um, but some things we just wanted to start fresh with, so the the feed will be uh, brand new. Uh, so so Delve will still be there technically on an RSS feed for a while, um, but uh, but there there will be a brand new one for this. Uh, so, Do you think you guys will have an archive for all the old Delve episodes? Uh, so, uh, we still yeah. have them all on archive.org, so they'll still exist. They do, um, yeah. They and I will. think we're going to have a couple that we're going to put up on the new website as mm. kind of just, like our favorite like older episodes. Be like, hey, these are some episodes we really love. Check them out. Yeah, we'll probably have so, that. So if anyone new can be like, oh, what, what did they do before? Right, 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 right. Um, yeah, in, in terms of archiving, I'm not sure if, like, the website, I think the website does go into, like, an archive mode, at which point everything would still be up there. Like, I think the feed will still technically be available with all of right. the old episodes. Um, if not, we we could probably archive them on the new site, too. <laughs> uh, it's just so they're available, but... Um, but uh, but the the I hopefully hopefully it won't really affect anything. Also, the Delve website I think is paid up through like uh, December. So, mm -hmm. in in case anybody hasn't already, the 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 RSS feed should not get in, uh, you know, affected at all, uh, and, and the content of the current site shouldn't get affected until like the end of the year. So you got plenty of time if you haven't already listened to everything. Um, just but, downloads all of the episodes, so just I have down, them at any time. Just download everything, uh, and if uh, and if not, they are available on on archive as well. Uh, so and and I'll maybe maybe if I have some time, uh, I'll see about uh, putting them in one convenient location uh, altogether. Uh, if, if, I, if if I can find all of my finalized episodes uh, somewhere. Ooh. Then I can put them all in one place. It's not like we had all that many. <laughs> only, only like three hundred. That's not that much. Only like three hundred. Only a few terabytes. So, so the the last episode, if I'm calling it three hundred, Alex, should I just say this is Sparta? <laughs> um, just have that as the the, the image. <laughs> the image, yeah, the image. Uh, I think we probably already used Leonidas, like. Sparta kicking somebody, but I mean. Oh, we probably had Sparta. Yeah, you know what I'll do is I'll make it a meme. I'll have the the guy getting kicked into the pit, and it will be us kicking Delve <laughs> into the pit. There you, go. there you go. That's 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 episode three hundred, and then, uh, and then then we'll uh, release uh, a pebble knockdown on everybody, and uh, you can you can enjoy from there. Um, so yeah. Those were pr that was pretty much the announcement we were going to make is that we're going to try something pretty different. It's still going to have the spirit of Delve in some parts of it, but it's going to be, I think, much broader in scope and and tackle a lot of things that we didn't normally get to talk about on the episodes previous, um, including a lot of other projects that were like side projects that we wanted to keep doing in one way, shape, or form. Um, so... Look forward to that. Uh, we're definitely looking forward to it. We're going to start playing around with doing some test episodes and see what happens. Uh, but, um, yeah, 
this is what you can look forward to after Delve ends. We will begin doing this project. Brand new. Still still us. Unfortunately, I, I have bad news for you folks. Still us. It will still be us. <laughs> so <laughs> there's the one thing that didn't change is who's behind the scenes. It's still going to be the two of us. But actually, we we're, we're, there's more than just the two of us now. So, uh, so uh, Crave is part of this as well. Uh, thankfully, <laughs> she, uh, and uh, and and hopefully in in the future more people will uh, join us as well. Uh, but but it is still us. Yeah. Still I imagine us. this is an ambitious project. I imagine that it would be definitely be useful for you guys to have some other people to help you with it. It certainly would, and uh, I'm kind of relying on a lot of people that have listened to the show or a part of our community to give us some input uh, early on, especially, to see what works or what they might like to see. Uh, what they might like to uh, talk about, uh, answer, or I guess give us questions, because I would like to have once in a while segments where we actually do answer questions from people. Um, oh yeah, that's one of those cool things with Anchor, is that we can actually uh, ask a question, yeah. for instance, mm -hmm. and we can say, hey, send us a clip or a question, you can add a voice clip to the Anchor profile and send it to us, and we can use it in the show. Yeah. Ooh. That's that's actually a pretty neat uh, little thing where if you are following us on Anchor um, and you, you have the little Anchor app, you can actually just go and say, yeah, record a message for, to, to you know, Total Pebble Knockdown, and you can ask something into it. We can hear it on our end when we pick it up, and we can even include it in the show as, as a reference point when we, when we actually put the stuff together. Uh, this is the question that we're answering and so people people know. So very interactive in that way, something that you don't see on a lot of, you know, podcast hosting apps. So very cool. Very cool. We'll see how that works out. Um, just a, another another nice thing to try and make it more interactive with people that listen to the show and, and hopefully we'll be able to grow the community that way. Uh, Want to be a little bit more interactive and a little bit more community building. I think we've learned some things over the last five years that hopefully we'll be able to use at the outset of this that's going to be helpful. Maybe. Uh, maybe. I'll be right back. Sure. Okay. You go ahead and be right back. He's too busy exploring nebulas. Oh. But, but anyway, so... Uh, so yeah, James, you were you you got an exclusive today, because I think you're the only one here at the moment. So unfortunately, unfortunately, but that's okay. Um, we'll uh, hopefully, when May comes around and we do that episode, uh, we'll have a, a much better idea of what you can actually expect, because uh, we're. We're doing a pretty. We're doing some pretty hefty lifts. Uh, obviously, Alex has been doing a lot on on the back end, uh, and and I've just been plugging along on most of my normal stuff right now. But we should have a much more defined idea of what we're doing when uh, when May rolls around, so people can can enjoy that. We're still in some planning stages, but just in general, th this is what we're planning on doing. So, uh, it's, a uh, it's ambitious and it is, uh, it, it very different, but I, I like it. I, <laughs> like, I, I, I kind of felt weird because like they said, Hey, what about total public knockdown? And I was like, I would have never suggested it myself because I would have felt vain to do so, <laughs> but I'm glad you did. <laughs> Because <laughs> if I said it after it was like a thing I said once, that would you say once? I, I was I was saying when when I had heard, when you told me Total Pebble Knockdown, I was like, I'm glad you suggested it. It would have sounded very pompous of me to suggest it. <laughs> no, we we thought it was funny and clever. Like 
I was trying to come up with names because, like, what about re like? It, that's what spawned this all. Was I was talking to Reyes, I think, like just names and stuff that we've done about, mm. like, well, what if we rebrand? What would we do? And I was like, you could do total public lockdown, kind of as like a joke. And she's like, what? I'm mm. like, all right. So like in the first episode, <laughs> yeah. with the Nathan first real episode, <laughs> TPK stood for, and it stands for total party kill. But Nathan's like total pebble knockdown, and it was just—it's been a long-running joke of ours, mm -hmm. you know, for five years. Yep. Uh, so it's just you know, like you know, that's super unique to us. No one else really has that, and it's just like definitely something that is all us. Yeah, yeah, it's it's uh, great, and I probably wouldn't have thought about it myself because. Uh, I I don't usually think to use catchphrases that I've made. I don't want to, but, but when you usually terrible because they're usually <laughs> terrible. Uh, but but when you said it, I was like, oh well, that makes just perfect sense. <laughs> For some reason, that just hit me, and I was like, oh yeah, that's totally what the show should be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just like, wait, no, this is definitely... It, we wanted something that was just unique to us, and that is definitely unique to us. Oh, you're not going to see seven other podcasts with that name. <laughs> you, we, it might be shortened to TPK in some places. Some places. Um, because it's just easier, but even just TPK you can't use because that is a lot of other places. Right, right, absolutely. But, um, like, on icons, it might be... The, like, TPK with that dice icon. Yes. For instance, if we want to use it like that, I'm not really sure. Uh, Ray has a bunch of ideas for logos and badge-type logos and designs. So mm -hmm. we're also hopefully going to have a little bit of merch. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, we're, we're hoping. Yeah, yeah. No, we haven't had merch before because uh, we haven't had anything to put on merch, really. That's true. Um, yeah. But with that logo design the dice with the caution falling rocks in it mm -hmm. um we think it could work really well as like shirts hats mugs uh what uh, depending what people want you know if anyone wants anything definitely stickers oh um, yeah stickers very much um but otherwise like i was actually looking into like how much would custom dice be with that as like the crit logo or like the the nat one. Oh, that's that's the nat one definitely um, but dice yeah. are super expensive dice they be, really are yeah especially for custom jobs yeah um but yeah no no the rock slide is definitely the one if we made it it's it's not a nat 20 at all yeah yeah and and, and that was that came about for me kind of talking about total pub lockdown with ray and trying to come up with ideas for the logo i'm like what about like the beware falling rock sign it can caution falling rocks and she looked it up and she kind of designed a thing around it i'm like what if we throw that in a dice mm. right and she's like okay and she tried it and she tinkered with it because again she's a professional designer like and she's also an artist, so she has a really good creative side to that. So she kind of tinkered with it. I'm like, ooh, I fucking love that. <laughs> mm hmm mm hmm Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and it's great because it just happens to end up looking like the triangle for the caution sign in the middle anyway. So, the, so that ends up being uh, kind of perfect. Just yeah. No, the, it, 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 it turns out. It's perfect. D20. Oh, yeah. Um. And then the the yellow actually works really well with it as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because it's the color of a caution sign. Did you die again? It, it, it wouldn't surprise me. Odyssey, you do die unexpectedly a lot. Um, <laughs> do, ask, ask Ray, though, if she's gotten the bonus so that you don't take falling damage. Do you have the bonus so you don't take falling damage yet? No. No. Uh, so, cool. Yeah. You'll eventually get that. You apparently get that. You, well, you can unlock it, it with skill points. But but it's super useful because you can just jump off anything. You can you can Sparta kick your enemy off the cliff. They'll die of the falling damage. And then you can just jump off after them. Oh, perfect. And, and just collect the loot from their body after. That's how I used to deal with mercenaries in that game. Oh, Nathan just Sparta kicks people and jumps off cliffs after them. Oh yeah, just lure, just lure the mercenaries that are really high level and, and are like bullet sponges. Just, just lure them to the side of a, a, a large cliff, and then just Sparta kick them off. They take all the damage on the way down. 
die instantly, and then you can just jump off after them if you don't take the falling damage, and and just <laughs> and collect the loot afterward. Easiest way to deal with them. Um, most fun too. And and right. in the back of your head, you can just yell, "This is Sparta," and this it's is, this is Sparta. It certainly is. Super cool. Um, does, does James have any questions for us since we've dropped this bombshell announcement on him? Yeah, we dropped a lot of info. Uh, yeah, James, any info dump? With, that was an info dump. Any anything that we didn't clarify? Or, or, or I do want to say, anyone else who's listening can ask us a question on Discord as well. Uh, post haste, not post haste. Uh, post show. Post show. Since, yeah. Since I don't, I think James is the only person um, live with us right now. Actually, Nathan, check the Twitch. <laughs> Uh, I, I I have Twitch. Um, we do have a viewer, but I don't know who it is. But anyway, hello viewer. Um, <sighs> if you're there. <laughs> but uh, anyway, yes. If you do have any questions or things that sounded interesting, just like, terrible, <laughs> terrible. Yeah, this is where James just says, uh, "No, don't don't do it." It turn back like terrible it, it sounds really cool i'm really excited for it actually good i, I like the idea like... yeah this sounds really awesome good. um good <laughs> putting james on the spot now yeah. if yeah it's it's okay we we uh we gave you a lot <laughs> it's a lot to process yeah. i'm sure i'm gonna have tons of questions but that's okay that's okay this is why we're kind of telling people now uh, with like a month and over that lead time just to we're kind of flesh Hopefully, out. maybe putting some in the Discord. Well, I might make a new channel or just invite people to the new Discord and just kind of be like, hey, we have this episode up as a preview. Like, what do you think of the formatting, et cetera? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Just to uh, maybe put together something uh early just so that you can kind of get an idea of what we might be doing um that would be good yeah, that would be good yeah and then you could listen to it and um and and get a better idea of what we're talking about but um yeah it's uh it's stuff we're still trying to figure out and there there, there are definitely some <laughs> kinks <laughs> to work out uh I'm, I'm figuring that by the time we get around to the may show that would be the the last one. We'll um, we'll have a much clearer picture of what we're actually going to be able to do. We are hoping. I think that our first show is going to be kind of like who a, a why the three whys the three w's <laughs> like who what where why when kind of deal. Like, you mean why five? Are we doing this? <laughs> five whatever. No whatever. It's because we be were going to do like... five segments of the episode. So yeah, so that's yeah, perfect. I mean... So the who what when where and why is is your is we... your opening. Yeah, we probably don't need five segments on that specific episode, but you know, right. it's essentially going to be the who who we are, where we came from, what we're doing, why we're doing it, you know, all those fun things. It that will probably be like uh, in podcast terms, that will be like the preview episode that goes up uh, before yeah. like the the episode episodes, just kind of explain things. But yeah, we'll we'll do an introduction to it first, uh, and then get which into is good it. for both new listeners. Yes, and. Uh, our OG listeners, our our returning listeners, that are are used to the, the uh, ones that code. hopefully will follow us to a new show. <laughs> yes, hopefully the <laughs> ones that will tr yeah we'll we'll try to promote them over here uh, obviously and uh, hope people will join us on the new one. Oh, th that is one thing too. Uh, Anchor has analytics. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and so does Squarespace. <laughs> they have a lot better analytics so that we can track stuff and. Um, and and see where where people are uh, listening to us from. Um, we'll probably be doing more promotion for this than we we have been doing in previous years, uh, in, in lead up. Uh, so so look forward to that. You'll probably now hear us talk uh, ad nauseum about this. So <laughs> there's your there's your preparation just to be <laughs> wary of. Um, we'll uh, we'll end up talking about this a lot more uh in the ensuing weeks so so yeah um i don't really think there was anything 
much more than that, really, that we need to talk about right now. Is there? I don't think so. Um, not specifically. No, no. I think that's most. I mean, well, we, we can answer questions. We can do whatever. It's our show. We do what we want. <laughs> this is true. This is true. Uh, yeah, no, I, I guess in terms, like, we, we've already been speculating a little bit about what we're going to try to do, but anything else would be pretty wild in terms of <laughs> what, what we'd be doing, so, uh, yeah, but no, Jane, if you, if you, if you do have any questions, feel free to let us know. If you can't think of them right now, that's okay. Uh, you know, you can always ask them later. We're, it's not like we're hard to find, so, <laughs> but. Yeah. 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 Mm. But, um, so yeah, I mean, we're, we're a little, I mean, I guess I'm, I'm a little bit, uh, sad just because, I mean, you know, if you Delve, want to keep doing Delve, you can keep doing Delve, Nathan. No, I'm not going to keep doing Delve. Uh, no, I, I said, I, I, what I was going to say is I'm a little bit sad, but I'm, I'm definitely much more excited than I'm sad. Uh, and, and I'm only, I'm only really just sad because anytime I'm working on a project and then that project ends and I kind of uh, put it in a little box and, and put it away, uh, there's, there's a certain like just feeling of the end that I don't like, but I'm far more excited for doing Total Pebble Knockdown than I am, uh, sad about ending Delve. So if that makes sense. Oh, good. That's fair. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I wasn't. I was gonna keep doing Delph. <laughs> I was gonna keep doing Delph. You can you can find a new co-host. You can just do everything by yourself. It's all good. No, I no. I'm gonna have my hands full enough trying to do Total Pebble Knockdown because there there is more to consider with that one. But I think that it ends up being um, better content that people are gonna be able to to follow along with easier actually. Uh, and uh, we'll be able to enjoy. And if you uh, if you thought that maybe we went a little long on certain subjects uh, once upon a time, this is going to allow you to see that that each episode has like a lot of pieces to it, like Hopefully. a like a like Hopefully. a puzzle. It's like yeah. puzzle pieces that fit together. And <laughs> but uh, so so there's some content that you're probably familiar with that's very classic delve that's going to be in this but then there's also a lot of other fun feature pieces that we want to do and and some just fun pieces and some that's you know topical gaming news stuff like that you know a lot of lot of fun ideas that we can toss around and have each show be you know like five segments of that kind of stuff yeah a nice well, really wide range we can take lots of um, suggestions as well. Oh, we would obviously. love to. Yeah, we would love to take suggestions, ideas, uh, brainstorming, uh, and uh, and then we'll we'll see like when it comes to our live episodes if those are kind of like brainstorming sessions in themselves, uh, where we get feedback from the audience, people that listen to the show, uh, which would definitely be useful for us too. <laughs> Uh, and how we organize those episodes as well. Um, so, yeah, I guess that's pretty much everything that we had to say. Um, not really much more that I need to talk about, actually, besides that. We can uh, just talk about... I, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, I, I have no idea. We blew, we, we blew all of our big announcements... <laughs> on the April Fool's episode. On the April Fool's episode. <laughs> so, yes. The the April Fool's thing. Yeah, okay, so here's the here's the April Fool's joke. Delve is going on for another hundred years. Oh, God. oh boy. <laughs> yep. We're, my grandkids are gonna be doing Delve. Back in my day. Back in my day, we had to walk fifty miles to get a podcast. And we loved it. Um, I don't think you can actually. Do you actually have to walk to a podcast? Um, I don't think you walk to podcasts. Okay, sorry. Uh, no, I got back in my day. We had to use dial-up to get our podcasts. That's better. That that's more apt. Oop, oop, slow down, Alex. You're going way too fast. Way too fast. Way too. Trying to crash into a plane surface. Sorry. 
Yeah, don't crash yeah. into a surface. It's, yeah. <laughs> my goodness. Literally dangerous. Crashing We're, planets. Boy, we are we are a fine set. We've got over here we are crashing into planets over here we are dying to wolves and <laughs> and over here i am somehow losing a land war while playing as alexander um Oof. that's yeah we're having a we're having a one heck of a ball tonight um so so anyway okay big announcements out of the way congratulations and we we are also sorry. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. And also we are sorry. <laughs> depending on depending on who you are, the, the, the notification that yes, Delve is going to come to a conclusion may be for all the people that were like, We're gonna get Delve cancelled. There was nobody. No one <laughs> there's, there's cared. Anything. We're gonna get Delve canceled. <laughs> we're gonna get somebody out there wow. was probably Somebody is quietly sitting around going, yes, <laughs> I have, Delve is gone. Um, so long, thanks for all the Delve. Thanks for all the Delve. And then, then we had to shatter, we had to shatter things for them by saying, oh, but by the way, there's a new show. And it's bigger. And there's more to it. Sorry. So... So yes, you're welcome, Internet. Aren't you glad? Ooh, internet. <laughs> Thank you, Internet. <laughs> You've been so good to me. Um uh so yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> I don't know who I'm congratulating. Ourselves. I don't know what you're talking about even, so it's fine. Yeah, that's probably yeah. At this point in the show, that's usually what happens. Um so yeah, uh, other news. Let's see. We talked about... As if we had other news. Exactly. That's the thing. I don't think we do have other news. Um, uh, yeah. I mentioned NFTs earlier. I still don't actually understand those, so I don't think we're doing anything with them. Um, we're just we're just going to make... I'm going to make Pac-Man, but it's not Pac-Man. It's a gorilla, and that's apparently an NFT. I don't know. I, I, I have not. Know. I don't want to know. All I know is that you can apparently make a whole lot of money because uh, the economy is a lie. Apparently, I don't know how. I don't know how money works anymore. <laughs> I can just create images and sell them to people like their art now. I don't understand the world. But um, anyway, that's my total pebble knockdown. I'm having right now. <laughs> Nathan's uh, having total public conniption. I'm having total public conniption. <laughs> That's a different TPK. <laughs> total out of body experience, not down. <laughs> total pebble breakdown. I said yeah, you total, that. total mental breakdown. <laughs> it's what I'm having right now. Also, if you go back into some of the last couple episodes of the show, we definitely have low key mentioned we're doing something. As yeah, mostly jokes. Like a new yeah. operating system. Oh yeah, yeah. There's um, there's something that you might have noticed that's low lying under the surface of the beginning and end of the last few episodes. That was a reference to what we're doing, but it's it's so subtle it might not have really people probably wouldn't have noticed. But that's okay. If you did, you're a real you're you're. You're a you're very the real eagle. total pebble knockdown. You're the real total pebble knockdown. You are, you have eagle ears. If you uh, if you heard something that seemed a little bit askew uh, in the openings and closings of the show, um, but uh, but yeah, we'll we'll do a proper ending of the show uh, after we do some episodes. That I think people are gonna like the uh, the remaining episodes of the show too. I think. It's worth noting. I think people are really going to like. We have some interesting topics to talk about before the show is over. Um, Do we? I hope so. We sh we're we should be able to make. It, I hope we make it interesting. I think the topics are interesting, but I, I certainly hope we make it interesting. Um, I can't. Someone's yeah. got to. <laughs> Someone's got to. Um, and uh, yeah. So I don't think I need to explain it any further. 
That's <laughs> that's what's happening. Very exciting. If you're us. Hopefully there will be more that will be excited in the future <laughs> as, as we move forward with this uh, over the next month. Um, so this is uh, usually the part in the show. I don't really have any other topics. Did, did you have anything else that you wanted to talk about specifically? Alex, James, anyone? Anybody? Bueller? Anybody? Um, any topics that you wanted to discuss? Anything? Anything? Not. Caveats? In the back of your head, are there are there rocks? Worrying me. Are there rocks? Is there a rock-based topic that we can use to stay on point? <laughs> Something how how rocks are used in video games? I don't know. There's no segue really. <laughs> Unfortunately, they're like like rocks in gaming is not really a. Gaming rocks. Gaming rocks, yeah. They are click clack shining math rocks. This is true. Um pet rocks in gaming. That's a t- that's a whole topic into a s no no. Pet rocks in gaming? Yeah. The declining pet rock industry. Remember we did that whole oh yeah. Remember I made that award winning documentary, Total Pebble Knockdown Ragnarok, and it was about the declining pet rock industry? Uh yes. It was good. It was good. Good times. Someone will remember that from our last April Fool's <laughs> episode. <laughs> um Or or of course the one about bare naked ladies. Ooh, what? Hum. Yeah. Well, it was it was the documentary that we made about um, the All Bear BNL cover band. That was literally just a, the bear naked ladies and the naked bear ladies. They they were they were bears, but they did bear naked ladies songs. And and that ended tragically when their drummer Huggy was killed in a car accident in New Hampshire one late night by an unknown driver. Hmm? This bear's death. Your April Fool's bear death. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. You you did you didn't know that you were responsible I for have so many questions. <laughs> um, I can I can I can link you a video. Um, <laughs> I think out of context, this doesn't make any sense to you. I don't think anything we do ever makes sense, but here we are. <laughs> here, here we are. If we still stayed around for for five years. Five years of Dell. Five years of Dell. I tell you what, I think I remember which uh, one this was in. Um... <clears throat> Oh wow! Some people actually watched this, the Daikatana video. Okay, not you have many people watching videos. Yeah, I have people watching videos. I'm just on... kidding. Nathan gets lots of people watching his videos. Not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> not a lot. <laughs> not a lot. No. Um, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back in in time and see if I can find the. Oh uh, god. I can't remember if it was Oh no 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 no. It was it was the one from 2 years ago. I'm sorry. It was Delve Prime. Uh, it was it was when we did Delve Prime. Delve Prime was 2 years ago. Delve Prime was 2 years ago. Delve Plus was last year. Oh. And this year is the Delve Social Media Empire. <laughs> the, the, the Delve Social Media Empire. The only Delve fans. Yeah. You can see a pattern. <laughs> I wish I didn't. No, you really, you really do. Um, but I, I'm gonna link. Here it is. Here we go. I'm gonna get a shareable link and I'm gonna put it in here, and then James can watch that, and you'll, you'll see the preview of our award-winning documentary, and then that will be fun for everybody. Um. So. Uh, yeah, I'm sure a lot of people are wondering, are you still going to do the, um, 
Are you still going to do the funny uh, April Fool's episodes? Because uh, I know that there's at least two people that watch those, so <laughs> who knows? They're who both knows? you. And they're both me. They are both me. Um, it is... Uh, <laughs> yeah, both of those views are definitely me. Um, but you know what? Hey, folks, um, <laughs> it's... It, it it's it's fun enough for me to do, but I'll just I'll I'm not sure I'm just not sure I'm not sure how many of the uh, just in general videos like attempting to play I probably wouldn't be doing specifically that stuff, um, but we'll see we'll see what kind of things I I'm doing I'm actually enjoying doing streaming on Fridays so uh, I'm gonna try to keep doing that even afterward but again that will be on. Well, it will be essentially this Twitch channel, but it will be rebranded, so it's not Delve. Uh, it will be whatever I call my thing. Cygamium, I think we were kicking around. Cybanium. Cybanium. <laughs> you were born into the gaming. <laughs> One could ask what... No, uh, we're not... Yeah, exactly. Cybanium. And it's just me, and I get the Bane mask on the entire exactly. time I'm playing the game like this. What? What game shall we be playing today, Batman? Um, that would be terrible. Nobody wants to see it. Uh, so... I do. You do? Okay. Nope. You're fine. Okay. <laughs> April Fool's. Uh, <laughs> so... Uh, I guess I would ask James, while he is here, uh, what he is currently playing. Um, at, at this current moment, mm. I am currently in the process of helping my brother um, playtest a magic set that he developed. Ooh. Oh, very cool. Yes. But in uh, uh, my... Uh, my uh, non-game of magic lands, um, uh, I lands, haha. Um, I am <laughs> currently in the process of playing some modded Minecraft. Modded mod Minecraft. Minecraft. Mm -hmm. I've started a steampunk modded world, and it is very good. Very oh, fun. modcraft. Steam steamcraft. Very yes. Nice. Very cool. What makes it uh, steampunk, if I might ask? Um, there is a new... Yes. Okay. There's a new mod called Create. Okay. okay. Very good. If I put the little gear blocks together, do they move... Do they move in unison? Like, if, if, I, put, if I put three gear blocks together and I put like, a little power source on one end, does it move something on the other end of the gear blocks? Or... Uh, yes, pretty much. Cool. Love it. This is great. It I, is. I approve. I approve of this. Um, terrific. Terrific. Uh, at some point, I will have to see some of the things that you make in that. I would be interested I, to know. Mm -hmm. I will drop some pictures at some point then. Excellent. Excellent. Um, Alex, I know that right now you're trying to crash into a sun in Elite Dangerous. No, I'm just driving around on a planet shooting biological organisms. Oh, there's bioorganisms there? I mean, there's biological stuff on planets sometimes, yeah. Or like uh, steam vent geysers and stuff you can investigate biological or geological activity on planets. Oh, they've they've dropped the um, the stuff where you can actually use like the little rovers around on the planets. That so. was that was Horizons, yeah. That was the last expansion they did. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Um, um, the next the... one is Odyssey, which is where you can actually drive around, uh, walk around. Ah, uh, yes. Which um, the Alpha is already out for now. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Then you get to walk around on planets and uh, examine stuff with your own two feet and probably die a lot. Yeah, exactly. That sounds like the kind of thing that you're going to die from a lot. Um, besides that, I know that there's a few, there's, there's a few games that you like to 
tool around with that you switch back and forth between? Is there something else besides Elite Dangerous that you've been playing recently? Uh, the Hunter Call of the Wild still. Ah. They just added uh, Bloodhounds to that, actually. I saw that they were having... Is that paid DLC, though? It's like... Right now, it was like three bucks. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. Sale, so you get a hunting companion, which makes tracking way easier. I'm sure. I'm sure. Um, it's also like you can... It's kind of like the horses from Red Dead 2. You get to, like, take care of them and stuff. Oh, nice. Nice. Cool. Yeah, I haven't played that very much. No, you have I, not. Since I bought it. Yep. I bought it, and I, I like I played it, like, quite a bit when I first got it. But I, I really like seven hours. I played for like seven hours, which, you know, not a bad seven hours. I didn't pay a whole lot for it anyway. I, I've definitely played over 160 hours. Yeah, exactly. I know. Um, I think it was just a little slow for me. Um, I'm not good at waiting. Nope. nope. I'm, I, re- I'm great at waiting. Yeah. I mean, it, it's the kind of game for me that like if I if I set up shop... And then I just go and do other things while my character is just waiting in the loft <laughs> until something comes along and then I shoot it. That's pretty much like how I started to play the game and I was kind of like going, but what I really want to do is I want to run real fast and start shooting at things. <laughs> and I'm like, yep, it's not going to work. This is realistic you drive the hunting. ATV, though. I get to drive the ATV, but they, they can hear the ATV. They can hear the ATV. They run away. They do run away. Yeah. So, you know, I I started to realize, like, yeah, no, this is actually a very realistic hunting sim. Almost too realistic for my liking. Because, <laughs> like, I, now I have to really think about stuff. I can't just... I can't just go around and just, like... A, a, wolves don't just, like, run up to you and say, hey, shoot me. No, you gotta think this through. No, wolves run up to you and eat your face. They wanna eat your face. Eat your face. I, I actually was like, you know what, maybe I should just be, like, trying to get ducks or something. <laughs> that might ducks be are harder to get than other animals, because you get close enough, and they're just like, oh, we're gonna fly away now. It's like, no. Like, obviously a shotgun has short range. Mm-hmm. So it's like, all right, do I get up close to the shotgun so I have better effect of killing these things? Or do I do it further away with a, um, you know? Sure. Well, I found that, what was it, the drilling gun, I want to yeah, say? One's, that one's pretty good. That's real effective at getting ducks, because I think I shot that once, and I think I got two. Well, <laughs> yeah, the the drilling rifle is a shotgun and a rifle and so a big game rifle perfect. yeah I, I i very much like that one um but then again i think i only played on i played on that one woodlands map and then i played on the um the south american park yeah, yeah. you gotta gotta get used to it before you go and hunt lions well that that's the one that had the pumas i think oh yeah pumas will eat you too yeah pumas will definitely eat eat you uh, you, you gotta be careful. Literally everything is out to kill you. Um, not everything, just pumas and water buffalo and wolves. Yeah, water buffaloes are annoying. I don't like those. Everybody oh. wants a water buffalo. Well, well, no, if you, if you've ever played that game, you really don't. They, they're, they're, they're nasty. They'll, they'll run at you. <laughs> um. Water buffalo will eat your face. Uh, oh, yeah. Ray and I have both been enjoying a bit of the... Um, bow hunting. It's actually really fun. Yeah, I I um, I have a nice selection of bows in that game, but I think the thing that was tricky for me is the range. Yeah, you got to be really close to the bow. Yeah, you got to be close to the bow, with bow. And then I had the crossbows, but I actually think that I think the recurve bows are actually more effective. There's something about the recurve bows I. I looked at the stats and I was like, I think that it's actually better to use these. Um, the crossbow has a longer range. Crossbows have a longer range, but um, penetration ability, I think the recurves do better. I want to say that's the big advantage. Oh, and reload speed. 
Yeah, well, crossbow is absolutely terrible on reload speed. Oh yeah, absolutely yeah, horrible. Your your classic recurve recur bows though, not bad. And then there's compounds. You can get the compounds yeah. too. I, I I generally use the compound. Yep, yep. Um, stats are better on it. Gen in general, <clears throat> depending on which one you're using, but chances are if it's the DLC ones, yeah, they're they're pretty good. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. Uh so so yeah, okay. Well that's good. I know you spent a lot of hours in that one. So. Uh yep, I go back and forth. I've been going back and forth between that and Elite lately. And Elite, yeah. Because I was I was definitely been trying to like do like more deeper exploration in Elite, like which is what I've been doing tonight. Right. Right. Yeah. I know you um you you do tend to like games that um, might have a slow burn, but that you can really invest yourself in for a lot of hours once you get used to the mechanics of it. Yeah, I get bored of games really quick, so I try to find games I can enjoy for a long time. For a long time, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, sometimes the complexity of those games is is what turns me off of them immediately. Like I like I like to be able to jump in and do something like like that's exciting out of the gate, but I range in my sensibility like what i was doing most recently is i ended up playing a bunch of racing games <laughs> because racing games are fun i like gta racing is games. actually fantastic not gta gran turismo oh you're talking about gran turismo did you ever yeah. have, have you ever played the forza series or uh no i've never played forza no um forza horizon that's such a great series that's that's ridiculous um, it's not like the, the, the Gran Turismo series is supposed to be realistic racing. Forza yeah, I like that you can just change your car up and everything. Oh yeah. Forza Horizon is one of those series. It's definitely more of an arcade racer where you get to have like, um, open environments. Like the last one was, was basically England. Um, but you get to like go through the fields and everything in England and you get to like have have that open world where you even explore and stuff. But they do let you actually go into your your car and you still get to tweak all of your settings and buy new tires and do all of that stuff. You still get all the customization and opening up and unlocking new cars uh, and trying out a whole lot of different racing like drift racing and you know uh regular racing drag racing that kind of thing but most recently i went and i played a bunch of the need for speed games that i had missed the first time around and uh was able to try some of the ones that i kind of bailed on pretty quickly like payback but uh, it turns out payback once you get through the initial problem of some of the initial races you have to do or you can't continue um that are also horrible. Once you get past those, <laughs> the game opens up and it's a, it's a lot more fun. Once you get past the terrible parts, the game's great. Yeah, once you get past the terrible parts, it's sort of like in, what was it, Mafia? The, the first Mafia one. Like, one of the first missions that they send you on is to get into the little race car, and you have to win this race, and it's a clunky mess, and most people put the game down because if you don't win that race... There's no way to continue the game. Uh, I don't like stuff like that. Yeah, you can, yeah, and and the rest of the game, you never have to get into a race car again. That's the thing that's ironic. It's the only racing segment in the entire game. Everything else is on foot, um, like crime drama, <laughs> and, and gunfights and everything like that. But they make you go through this one race at the very beginning, and you have to win it. <laughs> so. I, I I did, and I played the rest of the game, and it's not as good as GTA. But basically, it, it's fine. Anyway, I was on a racing kick, and now I'm sort of on a turn-based strategy kick. Because I do like turn-based strategy a lot. Um, there you go. So, that's, but you know what? I'll probably be back to action games soon enough. Um... I <laughs> I realized that I still have a ton of Yakuza games to get through. <laughs> um, I I I recently played Kiwami One and Two. Great. I have not even touched Zero. I was was planning on doing that possibly on stream at some point. I did try Three again, and I realized, oh wait, I actually played Three. <laughs> so probably won't 
go back and do it again, but uh, 4 and 5 Remastered came out, and then 6 is available as well. Um, and I, I would eventually like to try Like a Dragon, because that looks super fun. Um, I really like that series, so... It's got its quirks. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> it's definitely it's definitely quirky, but it, it but you kind of enjoy the quirkiness of it. Um it's 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 a it's a crazy series. A lot of fun though. Um just the mini games alone. It's it's so much of it is this weird uh dissociation that you have between this very serious crime drama and then just this insane amount of other stuff that's just going on that you keep stumbling across just mini missions of people that are just caught without their clothes and they need to get their clothes back or this guy that's looking for you think that it might be a lady but it's actually like a crawfish and he needs to get the crawfish back and then you find it but it turns out he actually wanted to eat the crawfish and then you you save the crawfish and it becomes something you can summon to help you in battle that was apparently a thing in like a dragon <laughs> i y- yeah why are we summoning what? crawfish in battle because they are vicious um it, it it's it's the kind of it it really is the kind of series where you kind of have to be there for it <laughs> um to understand why there's an entire part of like kawami the first the first game uh the the initial game that's just pocket racing and it's literally just there's like a whole storyline associated with it where you just go to this one center and they're racing the tiny little race cars along this little slot car racing track and and you get to you get to manually change out all the little parts in your little race car so that it's built for the different tracks you're going on, and you realize that you've just spent like 10 hours just doing nothing but changing out the parts in these cars. It's it's the weirdest thing. There's so many great mini games in every single one of them. There, you, there's, there's whole like ranges of different levels of karaoke you get to do in each one of these games. It's, it's fantastic. It's just a fantastic game. Um, but anyway, yeah, I still, I still have to I don't think I ever played four or five or six, so I'm uh, looking to get back to those. But not before I tried to conquer the world as Alexander, so that's that's next up on the chopping block for me. Um, All right, well, yeah. while that sounds very interesting, I do unfortunately have to go as I have to be up very early tomorrow morning. Yeah, and you know what? I think uh, all of us probably have some plans. I have plans tomorrow I got to do too, so... Oof. Yeah, so we're, we're... It's a shame. It is a shame. But thank you for joining us, James, on this yes. very auspicious episode. And we will talk to you... Hopefully we'll talk to you on the last Delve Live next month. I hope to be there. I hope that you are there, too. And uh, say hello to everybody tomorrow. I certainly will. Okay. <laughs> Have a good night, James. Yes, you too. All right. Um, yeah, I know that, uh, that I have some plans that I don't really want to do tomorrow. I don't know what your plans are, Alex, for Easter Bunny Day. Even Alex doesn't know what his plans are. That's okay. It's Bunny Day. For the record, uh, if you are listening to this later, we are recording on, uh, April 3rd which means that tomorrow is going to be Easter Sunday. Uh, if you do happen to celebrate Easter, uh, happy Bunny Day. If you don't celebrate Easter, have a very nice Sunday. I guess that's all I can really say. Um, but uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful time where you get the, uh, uh, you know, to find eggs. Either they're real or they are plastic. But you know what? One of them you can eat. No, actually, scratch that. I don't think it's a particularly good idea to eat any kind of eggs that have been on the ground. I don't care if they were originally an egg or if they were made in a factory. You probably don't want to eat them. Um, Just generally, 
just 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 a health warning. Just a general health warning. I don't know where Alex went to. Alex has disappeared. He might have gone to the uh, bathroom. Oh, no, there just you are. into your ramble. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, see, if I leave the audio silent for five seconds, I, I start to, like, think about my own mortality, and I don't want to do that. These are the things that everyone's going to love missing on the new show. Yep. Sure will. Because it's not like we're going to keep doing stuff like this. No. Nope. Of course not. Nope. Never. Uh, anyway, I was saying, I don't know if you have any specific plans for tomorrow since it's bunny day. Nope. But, uh, but I have people that are going to be coming over, I guess. Um, yeah, nope. Just a lazy Sunday for me. Well, that's nice. Did you get at least a, like, a chocolate bunny or something? Oh, my God, no. Those are expensive. Okay. <laughs> Did you get the marshmallow peeps? I do have beeps. Okay, there you go. That's fine. That is acceptable in lieu of bunny. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, yes. Th th today, though, I saw that somebody had bought uh, one of those York peppermint bunnies. That sounds terrible. Ooh. But I it's... don't want a York peppermint bunny. Um, why not? I mean, that, come on, that is like literally, it's a York peppermint patty, but in a bigger bunny form. That's too much. That's too much bunny or too much York peppermint patty? It's too much both, peppermint patty and bunny. Okay, well, I could just, you could just have the ear. I mean, yeah, but then you have so much more bunny. There's a, there's a lot of bunny. <laughs> there's a lot of bunny there. You so got to be careful. Bunny there's so much bunny. <laughs> you got to be careful about the amount of bunny that you get in your diet. I've heard I've heard that it's not really part of a balanced diet to eat too much bunny. It is definitely not part of your balanced government <laughs> mandated diet. <laughs> <laughs> there's only so much bunny to, that you can deal with. Um there's a government mandated diet. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this is not something on the food pyramid that I remember. I don't remember um, them talking about bunny. Maybe maybe in the meats maybe. department. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Anyway. Uh so here's hoping that everybody out there is getting a um reasonable amount of bunny in their diet tomorrow. And hopefully everyone is going to have, or chances are, by the time you listen to this, has had a very nice Easter. And if you don't celebrate Easter, I hope Sunday was nice for you. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, actually, really, regardless, I hope your Sunday was nice for you. <laughs> um, I know that mine is going to be something. So, looking forward it's gonna to it. going to be that. something. Anyway, I think... I think we're probably going to end because I can't think of anything else that we really need to discuss. Nope. Uh, I think this is a good stopping place. It's a great stopping place. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, so thank you for joining us, everybody, on the penultimate Delvecast Live. We will see you for the very last Delve Live. Which will be May. the ultimate Delvecast Live. That will be the, <laughs> the, the ultimate last Delve Live. I don't know what we're going to do for that episode either. Party, hearty. There's going to be partying. There, somebody's going to be drinking something. I'm tell you that. There's definitely going to be drinking going on. That'll be fun to listen to. Um, and so, until then, thank you for joining, and we will see you on the next episode. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>